G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well it's finally happened, today was the day we can mark it down on the calendar. The 7th of January 2021, the market cap uh, of total market cap of crypto has breached one trillion dollars. One trillion. I mean, you know, look at Bitcoin's market cap, it's already getting up to, you know, nearly 700 billion dollars itself. Uh, and Bitcoin does make up the majority of it, basically seven tenths of it uh, really uh, is in Bitcoin and Bitcoin continues to grow. I mean, just look at these numbers, uh, crazy, 30% in seven days, Ethereum 60% in seven days. There's so much crazy going on at the moment that I really do think there's going to be a hefty correction coming sometime soon. Uh, I can't help it. I'm always, you know, a little bit cautious of it. And look, I know it's coming at some stage. I could be wrong. I've thought that it's going to come for a while and we've had a couple of 17, 20% corrections and they just get bought up so aggressively and so quickly. I could be wrong, but I just get the feeling we are really at, you know, basically parabolic mad exuberance at the moment. And, you know, some bigger players who got in early probably will take some profits uh, and push it down lower. So for anyone who's new to this space, just buy a be buy a beware. We could have quite a big correction coming in the very near future. I could be wrong, and look, maybe it doesn't come for a long time yet. As I said, I suspect maybe it might be more around, you know, seventy to a hundred thousand if it doesn't happen, you know, by fifty thousand or earlier. But it's just things are really, really crazy at the moment, and it does feel, you know, like the later part of two thousand and seventeen. So I would not be surprised if a big fifty percent ish maybe not 50 percent but a like 30 40 percent correction uh yeah was to happen but look in saying that the buying pressure is so heavy at the moment i just i don't know if it can happen i'm just i'm suspicious that it is uh coming and we're closer rather than further so new investors if you're getting in now just you know be aware it may drop you know quite significantly but if you're invested in good coins and not financial advice just my personal opinion like bitcoin and ethereum they will recover in the months to come you're just going to have to write out you know the harsh reality of you know you put in a thousand dollars today and look next week it turns into maybe six hundred dollars and it could stay around that six hundred dollars range for like a month you know, a month would be quite some time, but look, it has happened before. But in saying that, the thousand dollars turns into six hundred, and then you know, in let's say, I don't know, you know, five to you know, twelve uh, months from now, I don't know exactly where the cycle high is going to be, but that thousand dollars could possibly be worth, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Who knows? Depending on what you put it into, and you know, the fifteen thousand might be an over exaggeration, but. Look, who knows, you know, people are talking about Ethereum going to, you know, anywhere from sort of 5000 right through to, you know, nearly $30,000. So a $1,000 investment now could, you know, give you between five and $30,000, maybe, according to, you know, certain people. Again, not financial advice. All right, gas prices are just soaring at the moment. I think people are going spastic on Uniswap and all the rest of it. Uh, and, you know, fair enough. ETH, the dominance, is rising, so it's at 13%, uh, and I do expect it to uh, stay fairly high. I think ETH is going to do quite well. Bitcoin dominance, so again, dropping down to 67%. It was, you know, in that 71, 72% range, uh, but, you know, this will correct, and I think Bitcoin will uh, start the, the next run. Once we have a big correction, or at least a reasonable correction, uh, there'll be panic and money will be, you know, flying all over the place, i.e., you know, people will panic sell and do all sorts of stuff. Once it cools off and people know that the bottom is in, it'll start to come back into Bitcoin. Bitcoin will start the rally, then Ethereum will follow, uh, and then we'll basically just do this all over again. And, you know, maybe we only have one really big correction uh, throughout this cycle. And again, like when I say big, a 30 plus percent correction. We've had a 17, which is generally still reasonable, but you know, it lasted like a day. We had a 20%, again, that lasted like a day. Uh, at some stage, you know, the FOMO of all the big businesses and that will stop. Uh, and again, you know, the whales who really own a lot of Bitcoin will work out, you know, what they think the top's gonna be, what they think, uh, you know, the best 
uh, price to start selling some at is and that's when you'll start to see the big corrections I just I can't tell you exactly where it is and when it is but I do have a sneaky suspicion it might come soon anyone who's been in this space for like you know six months or more you probably don't have to worry too much you, you know you just know to hold and let the correction sort itself out uh, you know and in time uh, you provided you're invested in good projects you'll be back in profit it may take a month it could even take two or three months who knows but with time you'll be back in profit so it's really just all the new people to the space I really need you to encourage you to go have a look at charts which we'll have a look soon and understand how uh, it works that one day you know you can have something that's worth $200 uh, and a big correction comes and all of a sudden it's only worth $40 but if you hold you know in three four five months time you know your money you know could have doubled or tripled uh, from the old all-time high from the 200 that you had so again, not financial advice though. All right, let's have a look. What are the big movers at the moment? You know, one trillion dollars is finally in the entire market, and nearly seven hundred billion of that uh, is in Bitcoin alone. All right, what are the big movers? Status. Whew. I mean, just have a look at these. These are crazy. This is you know basically euphoria. So there is a correction coming at some stage. I just don't know exactly when it is. You know, again, make up your mind whether it's time to take profits and hopefully you can buy back in on the dip or just write it out. You know, whatever your decision is, whatever your, you know, theory is. Verge, 50%. This is in 24 hours. I mean, status doubled in 24 hours. You know, in seven days, it's up 166%. But a lot of that is in the last 24 hours. You know, Matic, 100%. Over the last seven days, I'm so glad I've been in Matic for ages and it's constantly been down about, you know, 20 to 30 percent and finally it's made its way up. So even with a good correction from here, hopefully Matic will still be, you know, or at least a roundabout break even. I believe in the project and I'm holding long term no matter what happens really. All right. So, you know, great gains, great gains, unbelievable gains in Ren nice glad Ren is doing well I did make a position only you know just over 24 hours ago and so that means I'll be up 20% which is good all right losses is there any big losses loop ring of course it was going to have a pullback that was just natural you know you can't go up basically you know a hundred and you know 40% and not have a correction of course synthetics network likewise it's you know calling off I am super bullish on synthetics network I still haven't bit the bullet and you know got any more though but you know I am definitely thinking about it but again these are just low you know single digit losses other than loopering and again that had such a crazy run I'm sure the others will sort of follow suit all right and this is part of the reason why this is all happening. So veteran investor Bill Miller flips Warren Buffett's Bitcoin snub to argue crypto beats cash. So there's no doubt about it, it does. Crypto, you know, pretty much all of them, they are fixed. There's a fixed supply. There's only so many of them. I'm not saying that there's not still tons held by VCs and, you know, the people who built the project and all the rest of it. But in the end, there's, you know, 21 million of them or there's, you know, 100 billion of them or whatever it is. There is no more. They don't just randomly make more unless you're with a crypto that, uh, you know, kind of uh, can fluctuate like Ethereum. But they're bringing in E1P599 or whatever it is that uh, will, again, sort of fix that. But let's read on. So value investor Bill Miller praised Bitcoin in a market letter on Thursday. The Miller Value Partners chief and former Leg Mason boss worked uh, invoked Warren Buffett's scathing criticism of the cryptocurrency to underscore the threat of inflation to those holding dollars. I mean, they're about to print, you know, I don't know whether it's billions or trillions of dollars over in the States, and the US dollar, dollar is the, you know, kind of world currency really, so they're in, inflating that to infinity and beyond. So yeah, cash is disastrous in the long term. We need a day-to-day -day and all the rest of it, uh, but outside of that, yeah, it's not a good investment. So veteran Bill Miller trumpeted Bitcoin's rich prospects in a blog post this week, uh, repurposing Warren Buffett's dismissal of the cryptocurrency as rat poison to underscore his own faith in it. 
The Miller Value Partners boss and former Leg Mason Investment Chief pointed out that Bitcoin has outperformed all major asset classes in recent years. The digital coin currently boasts a bigger market uh, capitalization than Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway conglomerate, even though it's yet to be widely adopted. So imagine when it is widely adopted what it's going to be worth. Now, Miller added that the Federal Reserve is threatening to erode the dollar's value with rock bottom interest rates and continued liquidity injections into the US economy. The pressure on the greenback has spurred the spikes of Square, the likes, sorry, of Square and MicroStrategy to shift some of their cash into Bitcoin to lessen the impact of depreciation, he said. Bitcoin is best thought of as digital gold, yet has several advantages over the haven metal, Miller continued. If more companies swap cash for crypto, the current relative trickle into Bitcoin would become a torrent. So that is why, look, you know, I am thinking a correction's coming. Maybe we're a long way off a correction. And it's things like this again, you know, the real retail FOMO hasn't started yet. It's more likely to happen around the $100,000 mark when Bitcoin itself is at a trillion dollars. But it's not to say it couldn't happen before. And look, maybe it happens way after as well. No one truly knows. It is just, you know, what we'd like to consider an educated guess. Uh, and for me, that's all it is. Uh, you know, my time in the space, uh, you know, spending hours and hours and hours, if not days, weeks and months, you know, going over charts and things like that. All right. Now, Bitcoin's sky high price has sparked a profitability rena rena renaissance for older mining hardware. So generally with mining, you got to keep updating these like every, you know, probably 12 months or so, maybe not 12 months, but at least every sort of, you know, two-ish years, you got to go for the newest, latest uh, Bitcoin miner because they're just too expensive. If the price is really low, there's no, uh, you know, the power it takes to mine a Bitcoin just doesn't work out. But with the price of Bitcoin at the moment, so Bitcoin's price jump above 20,000 in mid-December resulted in older hardware rolled out between 2016 and 2018, significantly surpassing their break-even points, mostly between thirteen and $18,000. So if your break-even point was thirteen dollars to $18,000, well, you can make twice that kind of money now. So again, that's uh, a lot of profit. So all the old miners are currently turned on at the moment uh, and, you know, in profit. And my guess is they're going to be in profit for quite some time. You know, for the rest of this bull run, don't get me wrong, if there's a big correction, they might have to turn off for a little while. But once that correction uh, fixes itself, and look, that's only if the correction, you know, goes below $18,000. Possible, I would say unlikely. So they can probably just stay on throughout the rest of this bull run. And look, even into the next bear market, they can stay on. If $18,000 is their break even point at the moment, and that will rise, let's say the break even point gets to, I don't know, it's got to be above 25000 you know, they'll still be able to keep these things on for quite some time uh, going through to the bear market. But then again, eventually they'll have to turn those off. So things are moving very, very fast. All right, let's go over here and have a look at the Bitcoin chart. So 36,000, it kind of, you know, pops up to around about sort of 37, 38,000. And then it's just kind of sitting here at the moment. We do have a weekend coming. We're not far away from it. So it's Thursday here in Australia. Obviously, that's kind of Wednesday evening uh, in the States. Quite often, this is around about the time you're going to have a weekend pullback. Will we see something like this or are we just going to rock it straight through? So hard to know. But, you know, as I've said in other posts, every, you know, during the weekdays, it's almost every couple of days we hear that Grayscale's bought another, you know, couple of hundred million dollars worth of Bitcoin and you know another company comes out and is investing in Bitcoin and then another one's doing it and another one's doing it as long as they're doing it the price can't go down it's got nowhere else to go but up and any whales would not be selling mass amounts of Bitcoin at the moment I've got no doubt they're selling a little bit here and there because they want to still have cash on hand and they want to remain liquid and hoping that if there is a dip they can buy back in cheaper but really uh Again, as I said, they're going to work out what they think the, t the high is going to be. So any, you know, people are predicting anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000 to maybe even half a million. Let's say half a million is you know, too high, although it might not be. Between 100,000 and 300,000, 200,000. So they're going to, again, this is just how I would do it anyway. If I think Bitcoin's going to roughly about $200,000, 
what do I think the low of Bitcoin is going to be then? After we hit that high, I don't know if we'll ever have another 70, 80% retracement again in Bitcoin. I think those days are probably gone, but no guarantees we could. But I'd be thinking, all right, it could probably come back to, you know, sort of around the 50% of that. So 50% of 200,000 is around about 100,000. I'm probably not going to sell too many Bitcoin until I get to about 100,000. And then even at 100,000, I'm not just selling everything. I'm just going to slowly start selling off, slowly start selling off. And that's what they'll do until they say, rightio, again, let's say they believe it's going to 200,000. You know, I sell off a little bit at, you know, 100,000, a little bit above, a little bit below. It doesn't really matter where, probably below. I think 100K will be hard to break for Bitcoin, but I thought that about, you know, 20K and I thought, well, 20k kind of was but i thought that about 30k we blew through it and we're probably going to blow through 40k at the moment but they're probably going to say right a hundred thousand is going to be you know around about you know halfway between the high that doesn't mean the low won't go lower but they don't want to sell for less than what they think the low will be they want to sell for above what they think the low will be so no matter what when it gets to its next cycle low they can hopefully buy back in for a cheaper price that would be how I would be going about it if I was a whale and I had a ton of Bitcoin. Again, I'd say right now, I think 200,000 is roughly going to be the top. So half of 200,000 is 100,000 because I think it'll probably dip back down to, you know, around $50,000 at the next cycle low. So I've made $50,000 on any Bitcoin, possibly, and I can just, you know, buy twice as much the next time round. You know, not that I would ever sell all of my Bitcoin. I'd only selling be selling bits and pieces now in saying that if we're at a hundred thousand dollars uh in bitcoin by the time i don't know let's say june comes around then they probably have to adjust their prices they're probably going to go i think that's a little bit low maybe we are going for three hundred thousand so now they're waiting for a hundred and fifty thousand before they start to sell too much bitcoin again they're probably still selling very small bits along the way for if they need cash and they need to remain liquid but that's how they would most likely work out how they're going to sell. I know that's how I would do it. I just don't know what the high is going to be yet. I will have to wait and see where we are at certain stages of the, of the year. I mean, it's, you know, basically, let's say it's January 1st, we'll round down and we're at 40,000 now. Whew. You know, I'm thinking 250,000 Bitcoin at the rate we're going. Excuse me. Now, there's no guarantees. Uh, I could be completely wrong, but if we're at 100,000 Bitcoin, uh, let's say uh, by about April actually, April, March, then I think we're going to 250, maybe $300,000 in Bitcoin. But if we're not there, if we get to sort of April, March and we're still hovering around this, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, maybe $60,000 range, then I think 150, 200,000 uh, is probably going to be the top. But again, that's not an exact science. That is just a guess from me. Uh, I like to think it's an educated guess. I hope you all think the same. Please leave your comment down below. Uh, let me know what do you think the top is going to be for Bitcoin this cycle. Uh, don't have to give dates on when you think it's going to happen because no one really knows. But if it follows uh, what it's done before, uh, it'll probably be uh, sometime around December. That's generally when they've happened. But again, BitBoy's got another uh, the golden ratio and he thinks it's happening September 28th and I'm not saying he's wrong. I honestly don't know. But I'd love to know what you think the cycle top's going to be. And if you're a whale, what price would you be happy to start selling your Bitcoin at? Now, again, for anyone new who's watching, I just want to show you what I mean by we could have a hefty correction. All right, so I'm going to zoom right out here. So this is Bitcoin over its lifetime. So let's say you were lucky enough and you got back in here, 14th of November 2011, and you bought it for $2. All of a sudden it turns into $7. You've tripled your money. And then not. this is the daily candles. It doesn't take too long. And you're now down here. You've lost 50% of those gains. This is what happens in cryptocurrencies, and it happens fairly fast. It kind of happens in the blink of an eye sometimes. This one's an even better one because this is almost overnight. So again, you bought it $2. It turned into $16. You know, you've nearly 10x your money, 
and then overnight you're back down at six dollars so you've lost over 50 percent almost overnight most people would panic and they would sell whereas if you just held so again this is you know what date is this 13th of august we're at you know 16 dollars 17th of august again almost 24 hours later you know you're now down at six dollars if you just simply held and didn't panic not too long later you're now at two hundred dollars and again almost overnight so let's have a look what's the date here this is the 10th of april you're at two hundred dollars six days later you're at 48 dollars again now you've lost 80 percent of your money you would be panicking but if you just held and you understand the cycles you then turn into about 1000 sort of i think the peak here is about $1200 $1200 imagine you could take $2 and turn it into $1200 that is quite a ride but you have to be able to understand these cycles that you might be unlucky and you might buy bitcoin here and this had hurt if you bought a bitcoin at $260 and basically overnight it then turned into forty dollars you would be crying and you'd probably want to you know sell and you'd never want to come back to crypto but if you'd done your research prior and you just held you turn two hundred dollars eventually into twelve hundred dollars and then you just got to understand the bear market cycle it's going to really slowly sell off it'll take about a year and then it just starts to do it all over again and really this is the bottom of the bear market bear market cycle it has this you know capitulation then slowly makes its way up but it has dips bumped up and you would have been thinking yeah we're back on the you know on the way up and then it dumps and you probably panic and then it travels sideways for a while and then it pumps up just a little bit higher and you go yeah this is it we you know we're going to the promised land and then it just dumps and again this is the hard part about being in any kind of uh, investment but particularly crypto they're so volatile and so wild if you can just hold and you have a longer time frame and you're inv invested in good projects you know and again my personal opinion not financial advice Bitcoin Ethereum then you're gonna start to see these again imagine you were this bloke here and you bought for twelve hundred dollars and then you just watched it turn into a hundred dollars you've lost almost a hundred percent that's a 90 percent correction basically right there but you didn't panic you didn't sell you just had to wait 28th of november 2013 it's quite a while to basically over here 4th of march 2017 so that's a number of years but that is you are really unlucky you bought at the absolute peak uh, it's going to take you four years if you hold but you, if you hold and don't sell, you turn $1,200 into basically $20,000. Anyone new watching my channel, please understand where we are. Please understand how these cycles work. Please understand that this is really, you know, getting in euphoria at the moment. It is quite possible that we come back down and test somewhere around about here. I'm not saying we're going to. I'm just saying it's absolutely possible it could happen and at some stage in this uh, cycle we are going to have a correction that's something like that I just don't know if it's happening here at 40,000 and I don't know if we're coming back down to uh, 14,000 but I wouldn't be surprised if we went from 40,000 down to around about I think there's good support here at 24,000 I don't think we're selling under there at the moment but anyway that's just my personal opinion all right thanks for watching my video i really do appreciate it i put out i put out daily uh information there's not a whole lot of news going around there at the moment it's mainly you know the trillion dollar market cap uh, and things are going parabolic at the moment super good gains uh in pretty much everything and anything at the moment but when it's like that a correction is generally near so please beware but look i've been wrong about that before and i could be wrong about it again we may have a long way to go just prepare yourself again hit that like button down below it helps get my videos seen hit that subscribe button so you get uh, notifications you got to go down subscribe uh, the little bell button uh, click on that so you get all the notifications so you can see when I've got out a new video stay safe be kind to one another we should all be on that game train at the moment and I'll see you next time